Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, let me unmute Discord, assuming it worked correctly. Did it work correctly? No. Hello? Hello? No, it didn't work. No, ah, okay, good. Nope, not at all. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> when when last we left off, I was struggling <laughs> to get the dispenser system put together because it was the end of a couple hour stream at the end of a eight hour work day and uh, I was already brain dead from trying to figure out what violence these children did to their violins. And uh, I put together two different ways of dispensing it in there and I'm trying to decide which one I want to do. Um, I like this one because it's a lot less resource intensive. Like a lot less resource intensive. On the other hand, if um, where's a I find a stack of something. Um, it's not without its problems. Ah, a stack of something. A stack of something. Only without falling into the machine. I thought I was ready. I thought I had everything. So, this is a clock that I've used on a couple of different designs. Uh, as long as the items end up popping in one at a time or at a fairly slow rate, it works pretty good. But if a big chunk of more than two or three show up at a time, uh, it can lock up. I, I don't know if the Creeper Farm is going to be that... Um, that productive that will have that problem where this is filling up faster than the hoppers can fill them. Or, where this isn't dispensing as fast as the hoppers can fill them. Um, on the other hand, this design will happily handle everything everything you throw at it. It's just a little more expensive. But it is quick. Actually, now that I just vocalized that, uh, I think I'm going to go with the one that is more reliable. So say we all? Or am I the only one doing the I Battlestar mean, Galactica you, you rerun? Do, you don't want you, you to base your luck on whether or not it breaks? Base my luck? Base my... Uh, let, let Oh, let's go into a sidebar about my luck lately. Uh, okay. I started putting together a chorus fruit farm um, in preparation to build an actual chorus, uh, sorry, a chorus flower farm in preparation of building a chorus fruit farm. And th this is uh, along the same lines of a dozen different designs that I've seen floating around. And the idea is, is that when you plant the chorus flower, it grows up and it will split off into one, three one, two, three, or four directions. And the idea is, is that more often than not, it's going to split off into two or three, uh, giving you a surplus of flowers. Um, so you look at these six plants that I have on the first floor. Um, that's a wash because I'm only going to get the one flower back. That's a wash because I'm only going to get the one flower back. That's a wash because I'm only going to get the one flower back. Uh, that's a wash, because I'm only going to get the one flower back, so I'm going to get one extra from that guy, and two extras from that guy. So, out of a... So, I'm getting a whole three extra out of the six plants I planted on the first floor. Well, okay, that, that could just be one bad floor. Let's go to the second floor. Oh, it looks about the same. So I got three on that guy, two on that guy, and uh, two on that guy. Four, two, three, four surplus. So out of these uh, dozen plants, I'm getting a whole 
eight surplus. I figured I might ask Reyes to plant the next round. Wow. Great, right, that is your luck. Hello, Beef Chuck. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hey, Beef Chuck. That is, uh, that is not how this farm is supposed to go. <laughs> I mean, it's how they go for me, but it's not how this is supposed to go. I'm just going to harvest what's here. I'm going to go put them in a barrel down down in the on the first floor. And I was going to ask you guys if you thought I should build a couple more floors up or maybe expand out a little bit. Because I, I figured mm. may, maybe I just need to throw bigger numbers at it. And, yeah. <gasps> no! You jerk! You jerk! Okay, so I won't not build you. more. It's all right. You not you. Not <laughs> you. The green kind of jerk. <laughs> That jerk. Ah, that guy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have some fun with that guy in a little bit, too. I have found that building up seems to be better than building out. Okay. Uh, any particular reason, or just for uh, the... It's easier... Well, it's, it's easier to manage, um, especially when you're wanting to tie in a, if you're wanting to tie in like some type of um, automatic sorting system or. Yeah, there, there's not going to be a sorting system on this one because it's a manual farm to begin with. Uh, although I say that and I saw that Shulkercraft posted a semi-automatic uh, horse flower farm. That I'm tempted to do. Although you're going to go through arrows like crazy. Um, although we have some hoglins that are very happy to give us some arrows. So six and one half dozen the other. Um, but it's AFKable in the way that a lot of the old AFK fish farms were AFKable. That you know you do you pull an Arcadius and remap uh, right click to the space bar, and then you know lay something heavy across your space bar. Uh, I don't know that I like being uh, thrown under the bus like that. I, I seem to remember someone else doing some AFK fishing back in the day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, he didn't do it with a space bar. I, I did the smart thing. I just used some scotch tape on the right mouse button <laughs> to hold it down. <laughs> no remapping. A lot less fuss. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a sticky way to go. Nah. Oh, uh, no. 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 Party foul. <laughs> Unacceptable usage of a pun. <laughs> Unacceptable usage of a pun? Yes. You know what also is unacceptable? The fact that I am still stuck in the same place that everyone saw me last time, <laughs> and I cannot find my way out. Down in the hole. <laughs> As dark as your soul. Yes. Yes. And I can't find out. Who was that? Alice in Chains? That was Alice in Chains, wasn't it? Does it matter? I can't find out. Well, I mean, some would say that nothing else matters. Really? Really? <laughs> really? I find your lack of help disturbing. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to be helpful. I, I didn't think I was the helpful one. Yes. I, I can't get out. Dig straight up. Yeah. It's only half as dangerous as digging straight down. Mm-hmm. Although, uh, is it really only half as dangerous? Because at least down you don't have to worry about gravel falling on you. But you have to worry about lava. Well, yes, you have to worry about lava. Eh, not really... Lava. Only all is a lot slower than you do. So if you're digging up, theoretically, if lava <laughs> pops up over your head, you have double the amount of time to deal with it. Mm, I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm trusting that math. I mean, <laughs> you are usually the math wizard, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that I'm trusting that math. Well, I don't this? like I'll your answer. Medic, what was your response? <laughs> 
my response was to just dig straight up because generally lava is not going to be above you in little pockets in the overworld only one big giant pool and you'll hear it before you get to it usually yeah but Oftentimes. i'm worried about digging because i'm like directly under like the town okay what is your what are your coordinates what's your vector victor um what's my vector uh, hold on. Let me get to a place where if something spawns, I won't die. Oh, I've been here before. <laughs> Did you find, uh, some lights along your path? I found a tunnel with all the lights the exact same distance apart. Yeah, yeah, that's probably you. Coordinates. Working on it, working on it. Things are trying to be stabby. Okay. I am at. I am standing on 682 by 39 by 259. Okay, 682 mm -hmm. 259. Yep. All right. You stay right there. So how, how many how many little poke holes are we going to have scattered across the landscape from us randomly digging up out of the caves? I do, Does it I matter do as long as they're lit? Uh, well, I mean, I, I'll ask you that question again when uh, you fall into one of said holes. Well, all mine are staircases, so you can't fall. Oh, I oh. mean, you can. It's just harder. Yeah, try at that point. Or have a hungry Jubba. One of the two. Well. <laughs> oh, I see a medic. All right. Move. Medic. Move. Move. You can't. You're in the way. You What's up there? Water. Thank you, Beach Chuck. Oh. We, uh, we took down that building last week, and I'm going to build the new farm up there before I forgot, because I think I've got a couple of farms that I wow. forgot to post up the sign for credit. Um, Where are we? Hey, Medic, do you want me to put the sign giving credit for the Creeper Farm above the up and down signs, or is there another place you'd rather put that? Um, I'm on the way. Which way is home? <laughs> if you just head in uh, Second north. star to the right and straight on till morning. No, I'm just going to follow Medic. And then once you go north and you see the water, head south. Hey, you're okay. not supposed to follow an ambulance. Yeah, that that's fair. <clears throat> that's fair. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, I am going to be doing some little door thing here. Okay. And I was going to... Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 was, I was thinking of, like, either here above this sign or below one of those two signs, putting a sign giving credit to... Sign, signs, everywhere signs. Um, <laughs> giving credit to Shulkercraft for the Creeper Farm design because that's where I, mean, I saw it. You can do it ab above up here if you want. Okay. I just didn't want to put it somewhere that it was going to get taken down and that kind of thing. No. Okay. Beach Duck, what did you see in the sky that you're asking about? Probably the AFK chamber. Oh, yeah, probably. She'd be like the fourth person to ask about it. I'm flying up there like she can see my screen. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You mean uh, this? Oh, wait. Never mind. No, oh, I need a second sign because I can't fit everything on one. <clears throat> Are so you, you need a second sign because Jib is nearby. Oh, yeah. No, he's good for size. Beach Chuck, if that is what you're talking about, that is the AFK spot, which is going to move. Um, 
Uh, matter of fact, I, I might ask somebody to move that once we at least find where the center of the farm is and where the base is. Um, cause I, I think we all want to make sure that we have plenty of gunpowder. I mean, well, now I, I know you wouldn't be this. asking if you knew, but more more words would be nice. Like the large black thing with the flowing lava, that would be our nether portal tower. The Reyes that was crashing into the ground and is now AFK getting up, getting coffee. Uh, by the by, I probably ought to throw some food at her to make sure she eats too. Sad that that is actually an issue. P underscore one. Anon says that, and she answers as if we're talking about real life food. Well, I mean, neither is technically wrong. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, you know. That's why I said it was sad. That that's even a an issue. <laughs> Probably get a chicken farm going too, just for the sake of getting a chicken farm going. I mean, we got more pork chops than we know what to do with, so we're not exactly hurting for food. I've been eating far more regularly since I've been at the new job. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I wasn't talking about that either. So near. That's right. The whole reason why I went down yesterday there was... we ate very regularly. <laughs> like everybody bought brought food for Christmas on the same day. Uh, I, I will also have you know that the chocolate chip pie that you sent over to the shop is missing, and there's two slices of um the the uh, peanut butter pie left. It's only missing two slices. No, there's only two slices remaining. Oh, good. I need. I take it there was love for pie. Yes, I mean, who doesn't oh. love pie? Is it Pie Day pie? Mm. Pie. Oop. Okay, so uh, I, I I I put down on the sign the URL to uh, the Shulkercraft farm. I'll also put it in the description when I upload this later to YouTube. Um, this is going to be uh, a little more loosely inspired by Shulkercraft because I, I do plan on making a couple of changes. Just a, a couple of teensy tiny multiple changes. I mean, I, I've already made one change, and that's tying into the existing storage system for this, which, by the by, Medic, uh, I can't remember if I told you or not, but I tossed a stack of gunpowder into the system testing the dispensers, and I mm -hmm. don't know where it ended up in the storage, or if it's tied that's up right, somewhere, I'll, I'll or if it, it despawned. I'll look for it. Okay. Um, one of the other things that I'm going to change is in... Their version of the in the Shulkercraft version of the farm, on top of the hoppers here where the main collection is, uh, he used soul campfires to kill the creepers because soul fire and soul campfire does more damage than regular fire, which is nice. And it does a lot more damage than magma cubes, which is the traditional killing floor. My only concern is that with the soul campfires, you also get those smoke particles. And the more particle effects you have going on, the, the, the harder it is for clients and servers. And we're already going to have a lot of water updates and redstone updates and all sorts of other fun stuff. Um, it, seemed, it seemed prudent to find a better way of doing that. So what I'm probably going to do is instead of the soul campfires... I'm going to do soul sand and ignite that. 
so you'll still get the soul fire which will do more damage than regular fire but you won't have the particle effects of the smoke uh, the the flip side to that though is that it makes everything all the math off by one because now the the floor that the creepers are going to be standing on is, is one block higher than the original design uh, which also didn't include tying into storage and instead of the nine layers I, I was actually going to make uh, maybe 10 or 12 I'm thinking a little closer to 12 I know I know Reyes is going to want an even number but here's where the difference comes in um, instead of having each layer uh, push mobs off the platform simultaneously I'm going to alternate it so that way every uh, because the clock I'll explain that as we get there but uh, the bottom line is that instead of each layer dispensing water at the same time I'm going to have it so it alternates so this layer is pushing mobs off this layer is uh, empty clear for spawning this layer is pushing mobs off this layer is clear for spawning and hopefully gonna get uh, more and more consistent throughput out of the uh, the whole process that's that's the plan we all know about best laid plans and all that so we'll see if that actually happens but that is I another have a question you have a question I have an answer yeah. sometimes. Mm, I'm sure you do. Um, what happened to the music going in and out of the storage unit? What do you mean? It's stutter stepping. Like someone made like the... The dubstep version What's that version kind of music of you like? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. Server lag. Yeah, I was about to say it might be server lag because I'm having a horrible time flying uh, out here. Yeah, I had a little bit of time in the storage system too, but it seems to have worked itself out by now. Mm -mm. Unless somebody's running stuff through storage now. Uh, I might be. <laughs> oh well, that's why. That's why. That's why your local. <laughs> That's why your local speeds may be different than ours. Oh. All right. So I need that right there. Hun, what are you working on right now? Sand. Hmm? Sand. Are you uh, shuffling through storage, Medic? No, I'm way out here at my... Uh... Other farm trying to get me some beef. Ah, beef. Yeah, beef. Where's the beef? Surprised you didn't go to the uh, <laughs> the the piglin farm and pick up pork chops. No, I, don't I like mean, pork chops. I there's like only. Beef. Well, I mean, look. If we're talking real world, I, I would much rather have the beef than the pork chops myself. But um, hey, people have their preferences. Like me, I eat golden apples, so, yeah. All right. Um, All right. I made it, finally. Fish? Yes, salmon. Salmon beach duck. Ooh. And, and there is surprisingly fish in game, too. In which case, the, salmon, the, the salmon, salmon is a really good food to use. Fish. Although I think Arcadius is tired of fish after living off of the proceeds of his uh, uh, guardian farm from Season Zero. Oh, come on. Not eating fish. No? No more fish? You done with fish? Outside of trading with that fisherman, which hurt my soul, I have not touched a fish that I didn't immediately throw on the ground <laughs> this season. One... Two, three, four, five. You have no six, idea how much cod I seven. ate last season. Alright, I think that's right. 
Because the end, the end goal is to end up with a 19 by 19 platform around this edge here. And the only notes I had was seven blocks out from the edge. Respiration goes to three. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wait. Yes. So if I do seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight, seven, fourteen. There's apparently a fully automated 15, turtle farm 16, now. 17, 18, so 19. Can okay. you not breed cows with wheat anymore? No, you can. You can only do it once every five minutes. Five, six, seven. No, it just wasn't let me. Uh, wouldn't let me do it for some reason. Hey, are you out of my old island? Yep. Okay. Yeah, they have to be loaded for that five four. minutes. <laughs> the place hasn't been loaded since the last time one was was there. Three, four. How high does Fortune go? Um, I don't know how lucky you feel. Really? Really, really. Uh, Fortune 3. I need levels. Oh, if only we had a farm that got you levels really ridiculously fast. Yeah, it was like all the way over there. All the way over there. Hey, not all of us fly well. That's why there's Take stairs. The there's ladder. I oh, made yeah. I elevators. About that. Three. Forgot four, about that. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Okay, and to think, I was kind of worried that this wouldn't fit inside the uh, space here. Wonder, could we fit two of these farms in here? The do, one's stopping. Do, do, do we want two of these farms? going insane. No, we want two of these farms in here, but should we? I mean, just because we can doesn't mean we should. That's what That's what the blues song said. Six, seven. Yeah, we could totally fit another one in here. <laughs> it's someone else's turn. I talked about it the last one. I am completely mixing games up. I looked what? at this chest and I saw a potato and I'm like, oh, I need potatoes for that meat stew. <laughs> wrong game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. There's a vegetable stew. And in that's why game. I don't mix <laughs> games the way you guys do. Because otherwise I keep trying to creep across the edge thinking I won't fall, and you know what I do? I fall. <laughs> uh, you know what I can't do, though? Land. Boop. There we go. I fall, and it is bad. Are, are you are you lolling at Rayest or lolling at me? I, I can't quite tell, and I'm not sure I want to know. I was about to ask if you wanted to know the answer to that question. No, no, I, I, I think I already know whether or not I want to know. Did that make sense? I don't think that made sense. Although maybe today is not a day for making sense. No, that's tomorrow. Now this close to Christmas. Hey, I, I, I don't go out shopping at the stores. I use Amazon like a sensible person. You know how many lines are at Amazon? Oh! <laughs> uh, I, I think both you and Beach Duck will appreciate this one. Allison Sheridan was a guest on Daily Tech News Show uh, yesterday, which I was listening to today. And Tom goes, I'm jealous of the beach photos you've been sharing. And she goes, yep. 
But uh, just remember, I don't go walking out on the beach. I walk out to the beach, take a couple of deep breaths of that nice salty air, and then I leave because people at the beach are crazy. <laughs> yeah, people at the beach are. <laughs> I can't wait to go see them. Although, to be fair, it's off-season at the beach right now, so the volume of people there is way less. The volume of crazy people or the volume of people? People, period. I think there's still a the same percentage of crazy. Oh, so because you have less people, you, you get a better uh, a better mix? Yep, you get a better ratio. It's a by-volume thing. Ah. Uh. I didn't say all are crazy beach duck. I said it's a ratio. There's a percentage that are crazy. Just because you happen to be inside. Now, what percentage you are, I will not go into that because you could still return my presence. <laughs> Maybe. Die, piggies. <laughs> wow. Ah, I, I, I see somebody is going to go find the levels. <laughs> I need them. Uh, are you going to load up the, uh, the gold for the uh, piglins while you're at it, or...? Save that mm -hmm. for another day. I don't know how to do any of that. Oh, yes, I just you know do. stand on this spot and I get levels. Oh, you know. Stand on this spot and I get levels. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. These are the things I know and these are the things I care about. This is the way we fill the blocks, fill the blocks. And put them in the wrong spot. I don't appreciate the noise, though. Oh, yeah. No, I, I totally turn the volume down or just take off the headphones and walk away to make a cup of coffee or something. By the time you get back, it's like... By the time you're back, you're at like level 180 or something. That that is probably one of the one of the best farms that we put together this season. And in retrospect, we definitely should have recorded it, especially you know somebody constantly falling off the ledge <clears throat> or making funny being noises. Scared because of the uh, pigs running at her. Yeah, that too. And I know, I know, you said, should we? And I said no at the time. Because it seemed kind of nice to not, you know, to just have fun. And it was fun. Well, next time we have to have fun on stream. Because <laughs> we don't have fun on stream? The way you just said that made it sound like we weren't. <laughs> no, I... I This kind of filling in the blocks goes faster with help. Mm. Was that a hint or? Maybe. <laughs> no, hints are subtle. But everybody seemed busy with their own project, so I wasn't going to bother too hard. I'm going to see how much uh, we can build with what we've reclaimed out of the old creeper farm. Oh, we reclaimed a lot of stuff from there. Oh, I know we've reclaimed a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one will be a lot more productive because it has a larger spawning space than the old one. 
I am slightly worried about running out of stone brick out of the reclaimed. I know we have plenty of stone brick, so don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Scroll down to the next one. All right, seven blocks out from the edge and connect. Fill in the gaps when done. Sounds like a baking recipe or something. <laughs> it's a baking recipe. Add 7,000 stone brick slabs. Curse vigorously. Surround okay, so one of you is getting sand. Medic, what are you working on? Beef. It's what's for dinner. Oh. Uh, well, he also went to, like, the furthest beef farm on the server. For some reason. Unless he's trying to get more, uh, mushroom heads. He might be. I kind of wondered. Uh, I also hope that he cleaned out his uh, mailbox. Did someone just take all the Fortune 3 books? No. Nobody's been oh, there never mind. Them. I see what happened. Okay. What happened? No, actually, huh. huh? No, that only counts for some. There were a bunch of Fortune 3 books in there like literally a minute ago. I don't know then. Alright, raise up the corners. And this should look familiar because it's a very similar system to the uh, collection for the blast chamber. The idea is we're going to have the spawning plat. Oh, look at that. Oh, the perfectly correct amount of glass. It's almost like I intentionally. Wait a minute. It. What? Waiting a minute. And no one knows where there might have gone in Fortune 3 books? Nope. Are you sure they were Fortune 3 books that were there? Yes. You surely sure? Yes, because I took out all the Fortune 2 and went to get levels so that I could go make them into Fortune 3s. Uh. All right, I think I've been out here long enough. Uh-oh. And there's an iron golem just running around out here on the mushroom area. Like I do for have enough, fun? Uh, villagers out there that you probably spawned in. Especially down in the uh, mooshack or mooshack or whatever I was calling it. It's a little old place where we can get together. Yeah, well, I shoved them together, so I mean, uh, That's um, bad. What? Your joke. Uh-oh. There's a takedown. <laughs> I didn't even start singing it. Yep, it was two seconds worth. It's over. <laughs> yeah, don't get me started on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, trying to keep the language family friendly. Oh, goodness. <laughs> mm. All right, I almost have all our books replenished. Why am I doing this the hard way? Where's my ice? I know so the next time someone dies, they don't have to... Have as much sadness. I thought I thought we had a guy that was Fortune Three, though. We do. No, he's only in Fortune Two. Oh. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. That's okay. That's fixable. 
not for him, but it's fixable. Well, I mean, he is technically fixable. <laughs> Placeable? <laughs> Don't think that's the same thing. I mean, we, we could put another call out to the uh, staffing agency and see if they have somebody that could... Um, yeah, but I think he has in. some good stuff that we do like. Does he, though? I mean, I mean, yeah. Does he? Regardless, someone else has What's to the outside of this going to look like when it's done? Uh, that is a medic question. I'm my, sorry? My job for this one was to make the inside produce gunpowder. Because right now it looks like a giant water cooler. He was quick to do that, too. He was like, oh, no, no, no. You ask medic that question. <laughs> Because uh, this this one isn't one of my builds. What? Besides, if it was mine, I'd probably be missing a roof. <sighs> yeah, Medic Reist was asking what the outside of this was going to look like. Uh, like a giant water cooler. That's what it looks like right now. Yes, then I succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys are funny. I, I thought so. Uh oh. I'm sure uh -oh. you do. Having the same issue now where my game pad's locked up in oh. a certain direction. No, not again. Yeah, again. Tell it no. I'm starting to notice a trend here. This happens like when we start telling him he has to uh oh, help that something. Building. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, just specifically that building. Like, I don't know. <laughs> this is only happening on on Tuesdays. On Minecraft. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Hmm. Does it only work at Minecraft night? Are you are you about to have to become a nocturnal player? I don't know what the world's going on with it. I don't know why it does it sometimes. Um, probably ought to check the late levels on this platform too. All right, do I want to start the fire now? Eh, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Well, it was always burning. Oh, I didn't start the fire. That's what they all say. Um. All right. I'll grab a bunch of dispensers. I'll grab just a bunch of observers. I'll need only you can prevent redstone fires. Bunch of glass. Um All right, what can I help with? Uh grab a bunch of uh, levels? bricks. Uh they're not up here. Uh they're down at the bottom. The gray bricks? Yeah, the stone bricks. Because nobody's going to see this part, so it doesn't have to look pretty. Did you say get levels? <laughs> you have levels. I have 68 of them. And I can get a lot more really quick. Lovely. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I won't put a hold on that brick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two blocks up from the middle. So we're going to go to the middle. And then we're going to go one block, two blocks. We're going to get a dispenser facing upwards. Here, I brought all the bricks we had down there. That is a dispenser, right? Yeah, dispenser. I can make more, though. 
make more what levels or bricks oh no we got bricks. tons it's in the chest in front of the place it's in the oh. chest in front of this building we have tons oh, I, I just brought didn't, them up to you I, I just didn't bring them all up with me one two all right we'll call that the top of the diagram the volcano is north one two three four five six two three four five six gonna be the same on the sides two four six yep okay and basically uh you're gonna do you're gonna duplicate the same platform to two blocks up um, let me, let me get the template done and then we can start working on that. Two, four, five, six. And we're going to do this for, uh, hey, let's do 12 platforms. Two. And then you're going to need some glass. Because if that is the north, then we got this guy here needs to be glass, and that guy there. Um, this guy here, and that guy there. This guy here, and that guy there. <coughs> well, that was not what I wanted. And you claim that thing will make all the gravel we ever wanted. This thing? This thing doesn't make yeah. gravel. This makes gunpowder. No? This makes gunpowder. The uh, Piglin Trading Hall makes gravel. Ah. Basically, the way you see this corner, the, this is the way it's going to rotate around the platform. So you have one on the diagonal, two on the diagonal. Then this guy is going to be... Oh, dunk on it. What do you mean by <coughs> rotate? Um. Do, do you see the pattern that's developing? If you if you look at each spoke, so out at the tip you've got a glass forward, and then diagonally one to the left is glass, diagonally one to the left is brick, diagonally one to the left is brick, diagonally one is glass, until you connect brick, to the next brick, spoke, glass. which is doing the same thing. And it's the same uh, each layer, or when yep. you said rotate. Yeah, each each layer is going to be pretty much the same. Yep, 
Yeah, each layer is going to be exactly the same as the next. Uh, yeah. Uh, except you need a dispenser facing upwards in the middle. Um. This isn't going to land right, is it? Nope. Oh! <laughs> I mean, of course. Of course. Here. Here's a bunch of... That's more dispensers than we need. Okay. You, you took them. Oh. So there should be a dispenser facing upwards in the middle. I need to go grab more brick. Or did you put it in the shulker box? You said you brought some up. Uh, I, I, yeah, I put some in the shulker box. Okay, that works. Oh, <laughs> we're going to need more. Well, yeah, but... I was about to try to fly with ender pearls. That would not have ended well. No? Okay. Uh, oh, and we should probably use torches to light these up until we're ready to insert the water and whatnot. I knew I was forgetting something. Where did I fall in the sky? Never mind. I don't want to know. figured torches because that way when we do turn the system on the water will flush them away uh i guess i'm gonna have to sleep who needs to sleep ah uh, well i don't know I, I have this weird aversion to not being attacked by phantoms when i'm working A little crazy, I know. Sounds rather particular to me. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Alright, uh, one more time. Without forgetting stuff. Mm, what else is blowy uppy? Blowy uppy? Blowy uppy. Why, why, why are you looking for things that are charitably described as blowy uppy. Why are you not? Uh, it's not so much why am I not, it's why am I worried that you are looking for something that is best described as blowy uppy. Because I'm reorganizing the storage unit, like you asked. Ah. So, what, what part of that involves blowing stuff up? Nothing. It's I'm sorting things, and this is the blowy uppy section. <laughs> the, the blowy uppy section. Yes. So far, it's got TNT and flint and gunpowder. Oh yeah, I guess we will put the uh, dispensers and all that in at the end, though. Fire charges. Good, good. Co oh yeah, because I don't think we had a, we didn't have a placeholder for the fire charges last go round. One, two. Are you sure? What fire charges? Yeah, fire charges yeah, well, are I definitely blowy up. I need to make a home for them, so I need some enough to make a home. How do you make a fire There's charge? Plenty. Five, six, go to the go to the bartering hall up on the nether roof. There are tons of them. Yes. Yeah, there, there, there's a bunch mm -hmm. up there. 
The piggies give them to you. Uh, oh, okay. Four, five, six. I'm on a quest for blow yuppie things. Three, four, five, six. Uh, and <laughs> I'd say leave room, leave some placeholders for if anybody ever decides to make uh, fireworks as opposed to the normal rockets. You would say that now. What? How do you make a firework? Uh, no, there, there's a bajillion and two varieties of fireworks. Well, how do I know how many to make slots for if I don't make one of each? Because uh, we're not likely to make one of each. We're likely to make one-offs for a particular occasion or something. That's why I said leave some blank spots. In your hall that you don't want blank spots left in? It's No, no, no. no. Who said I didn't want blank spots? We, the... we just had stuff that was stacked weirdly. And we had large empty chests in with uh, placeholders and, and then spots where stuff was jammed up together. It was looking for uh -huh. a, a... I thought the sortie system wasn't allowed to have blank spots. Oh, okay. Not blank like you're talking. No. Blank like... Like there's like a placeholder Like I have placeholders. For, here be for something a thing eventually. that either we don't really need or... Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not blank as in there's nothing there. It's blank as in there's a placeholder here. Oh my, we have many arrows. Oh, oh, somebody's mad, somebody's mad. Oh, don't worry about that. They're behind glass. Okay. That, sorry, I, I just realized I how that sounded. Behind glass. <laughs> pay no attention. Don't mind that psycho, he's behind bars. <laughs> uh, pay, pay no attention to the associates. They're behind glass. Yeah, that was not a good look. No. Ah, placing blocks. Uh, how many platforms have we built? I lost count. Okay, so what are other blowy epi things? Besides TNT and fire charges. Where there's... I don't think we're going to put Creepers. a pocket wither in the uh, storage system. Pocket wither? Yeah. Why it, would he be fun sized? Hmm? It's when you don't have enough uh, soul sand to make a real one. <laughs> it only gives you half a beacon when you kill him. It, it's the wither pocket edition. Really? Really, really. 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 No! Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, Aww. five. Uh, are you out of scaffolding? Nope. Are you out of torches? Uh, nope. <coughs> I'm out of shulkers. Because I already dropped a ton off at storage and left them with the shulkers. And I'm about to bring 22, yeah, 22 more shulkers full of sand back. Nice. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Um, All right, there is now home for fire charges. Five, 
six. Looking for more things that blow up that will also go in storage. Yes. Okay. That that's that's a little more uh, useful a delineator because then we're not naming things that we can't put in storage like creepers. I mean, I guess technically you could name tag them and put them in a hole for storage. That, I mean, that's not. No. You can name tag anything and stick it in a hole and call it storage. Yeah, like villagers. Yeah, exactly. Then you totally. I also brought back more spectral arrows. Yeah, uh, I know. I don't know if you saw, but I put a spot in the, a placeholder in the bulk storage form. I did, and I brought some back to start filling it up. <laughs> yeah, because now we just need to make. <gasps> Can we do a thing where there's a stream that goes from that? Shh. Can we do a thing? <laughs> okay. Where we make a river in the nether fall down into the real part here and then flow into the storage unit and no. then get filed. No. No. Why not? No, it doesn't work like that. But I want it to. Well, you can want it to, but that doesn't make it so. You can't okay, have so water in the nether. Yeah. Depress me. Anyway. I mean, well, I guess... Alright. Strictly hypothetical. Do not... Never mind. I'm not even going to say it, because then you'll get your hopes up, and then you'll, you'll start... Never mind. Well, it's too late now. You might as well finish the sentence. Mm -hmm. Strictly hypothetically, there are some shenanigans you can do to break the bottom of a nether portal frame and still have the nether portal. So you could break the obsidian at the bottom of where a nether portal would be. Um, Not it. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, like, do, do, you know, do you know how many times... Wait. Doc crashed the Hermitcraft server trying to do this. And if you screw it up on... And, and you can only do this one block at a time. And if you screw it up on any one block, you have to start the whole process all over again. So, no, this is not going to happen. This is strictly a hypothetical. Because you and asked. why are we talking about it? Because you asked. I didn't ask you to get my hopes up for no reason. Who would ask for that? It's not for no reason. I mean, somebody somewhere might use it. Why are you mean? You tell me of plans that I can never execute? Oh, I mean... <gasps> Somebody out there might want to. Not me, but somebody might want to. Uh, is, no, that looks like a finished one. I know there's one that I hadn't finished yet before I went to go sleep. Oh, there we go. Where was I? Here I was. So between these two farms, we should be all set for uh, rockets for the season, right? Uh -huh. Now, Two, three, four, now five, uh, six, TNT's a different seven, story. 
Yeah, well. Eight. Oh, you're already on this one. Nine. All right. How come when I renamed a gem, it's not the same as the other gems? Because it's not the same. You renamed it. But I want it to go back in the box. Well, you can want it all you want. That doesn't change it. Eleven. Nineteen day. So if I counter it, that should make... This should be the twelfth level, correct? Uh, I haven't been counting. Okay. Then we'll figure it out once we get there. Yeah, I didn't count the... Uh, uh, scaffolding. I just oh. took all of them that I had and <laughs> made them go up. All right, because I, I want to make sure that we got 12 levels and then the roof. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'd be nine. That'd be ten. And why don't you unload some of these 11. in the sorter and then you can have your shulkers back? That'd be 12. And then one, two, and a roof. Oh, you know what? If you need shulkers, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. If you need shulkers, I've got shulkers. Well, some of these legit do need to be like unloaded so that we actually have like loose sand to play with. Yep. I just dropped your extra scaffolding behind you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, the thing stuck again. I started to walk towards the edge. Oh, 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 don't jump. Don't jump. Don't do it. You've got plenty to craft. You got this one or you want the next one? I'll go to okay. the next one. Why are you collecting so much sand? Uh... Are you muted? Because like I can hear you talking project. in the room, Sorry but I can't hear you over Discord. I said two of the shulkers in the sandbox were empty, by the way. I pulled them out. Three. I know. I put them there intentionally. Oh. Anyway, no. Um, replacing the sand I used, I mean, you don't think this stuff Here. got uh, <laughs> dug by hand, do you? Yeah. What'd you do? Blow up the sand to get more sand for TNT? No. Hmm, that is Blow up stacks thought, on though. stacks on stacks to get. <laughs> hmm? I blew up stacks upon stacks of TNT to get all that netherite we have. Ah. Uh, so I have to replace it with all the sand. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. It, it, you made it sound like you didn't mine all the sand by hand. And I was like. Then how did you mine it? TNT? No. Do we need to do we need to talk about glitch exploitation or <laughs> No. <laughs> that I, I did by hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and no. I won't mention how many accidentals I had where I lost a another right shovel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so wait. Even with the diminishing tools where you can see that your tool is down to its little nearly dead nub. You you still broke shovels and stuff? Four another right shovels. Oh. Okay, that's it. When it, when I do the next update, I'm gonna install the data pack that like audibly pings you when your tool durability <laughs> hits a certain percentage. That would require me to have my audio on, because <laughs> typically I'm listening to a book. <laughs> All right, I'll see if there's one that puts a chat message in there. Oh, that oh, might scare me. I'm out of bricks. I'm the only one on. <laughs> Speaking of uh, uh -oh. 
mods. Mm -hmm. I was watching my buddy uh, Rodrin. I was watching his stream yesterday. Uh, yesterday was his birthday. Okay. And he was, he was doing an early morning birthday stream, and I was watching it, and he has a really interesting mod that he uses. Now, are we talking uh, mod or data pack? Because while some people... Or maybe it was a data pack. Because they're, they're not interchangeable terms, unfortunately. Maybe it was a data pack. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, he knows all the technical. You know all the technical. You two should talk. Oh, okay. But, um, What's it do? Huh? What's it do? What's it do? Well, it does all kinds of cool things, but the, the thing that I noticed, which is why I originally asked him about it, is that it put numbers on all the blocks to where, <laughs> to where it shows you the light level. Oh, at just a glance. okay. Um, there, yeah. there's, there is a mod, a, a client side mod that can do that. Uh, I don't know if it works in multiplayer. I know it does work in single player. I have a resource pack that will show you, um, if. It is a uh, spawnable area based off by, by showing uh, in pink the areas that mobs can spawn because the light level is low enough. Well, I know it definitely works in multiplayer because he was doing it on his multiplayer server. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I want to say that there's a couple of client side, a couple of client side mods that'll do that. Uh, so that would be something that you would have to install yourself usually it requires the fabric mod to run the other stuff and gets uh into the things that I keep intending to do but I never have enough weekend of my weekend to work on them because I I, <laughs> I don't want to screw up my Minecraft install it while trying to build other projects that would just be sad can't imagine why you don't want to Like I said, whatever this thing was that he was using, uh, yeah. did a lot more than just that. But that oh, was yeah. the no, one no, no. thing. There, there's I a was. couple of them. Like uh, Late Matica is one that I've seen a lot of people use. Uh, Nembom was recently talking about Tweakaroo. Um, <laughs> Tweakaroo. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. You know, it's not cute. This fog. We, we, we appear to be uh, at quite the elevation. Hey, Beast Lord. Thank you for the raid. How you doing today? Beast Lord. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Beast Lord. One, two, three. How's it going? Deeply appreciate the raid. We are in the middle of... You know, those are not words people normally say. What? Deeply enjoyed the raid? Yeah, I'm just thinking what Beach Duck thinks when we say oh. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I'm just about ready to turn the cloud cover off. Honestly, I'm, I'm trying to think if that can't be the weirdest thing she's ever heard us say. So. I, I was getting ready to I say. I mean, I know I, it's I'm, not the weirdest thing she's heard me say, but yeah. Well, yeah. Let, let's start there. We are uh, we're in the middle of building a uh, a bigger creeper farm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tedious part. I. I Oh, thank you for the follow. Do we have more room than necessary for our redstone stuff? No. <laughs> Come on. No, now. for like the red redstone, like the redstone ore, the redstone dust, blah 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 blah. Uh, oh. I, I don't, I don't think so. Although, every time we seem to accumulate a modicum of redstone, we 
tend to think of a project that requires all of it and then some. Well, yeah, that's how it works. We save it up and then realize, oh, we can use it now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Torch. So have we ever had all this redstone space filled up at one point in time? Uh, we came close at one point in time, and then we built the, uh, which project was it? It was one of the projects. It was that one. Oh, oh hush. You were both super <laughs> helpful. I just want you to know that. I, I mean, that's what we're supposed to be, right? We're supposed to be helpful. Yeah. Note, yeah. Medic has learned when to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> Has he? <laughs> I haven't gotten in trouble do, do by Reyes to... in a long time. He's uh, true about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, are, are we actually near the top? We're done with the top. This is your last one right here that you're working on. Okay. Uh, is that the roof above me or is that the roof above that level up there? Oh, one one of these lights be the roof. Uh, the whatever whatever I marked up last. Yeah, this top this up here is supposed to be the roof. Oh, uh, so we we Here's don't actually roof. need the we don't need the glass there. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything to have it there one way or the other. Well, we can leave oh. it up there because you know it. We we need yeah. the roof to be on fire. <laughs> hmm. Well, we don't need no water. <laughs> Family right. friendly. Yep, yep, yep. That's why I stopped right there. If you know, Bye you know. Beast Lord. Enjoy the foods. Enjoy the food. We'll, we'll be here. Beast Lord, thanks for stopping by, buddy. Uh, no, we're not going <laughs> higher. We're, we're going to go 12 levels, and uh, that should be enough. Good. Really? Yeah. We it don't should. have as after, much railage as I boasting, thought we would. You know. All right. Uh, what are we apt to have more of? Activator or detector rails? Yes. Um, well, right now we don't have much of it at all. Actually, I don't know that we actually need that many activator or detector rails. Okay. Uh, here's the dispensers and the observers. Yeah. Th this is this is the top beach duck. If you will Do make you sure have... that in each floor is an upwards-facing dispenser, and then above it an air block, and above it a, an observer looking upwards. That seems specific. Do you have a wrench on you? Uh, yeah, in the redstone box down by the bed. Oh, mine's down there. I was, <laughs> <laughs> so I was asking if you had one with you. <laughs> Yeah, but as as long as you, if you place all the dispensers first, you should be able to just put the observer looking up into the dispenser above it. Yeah, we got we we have twelve levels of uh, spawning platform. Oh, and we have twelve. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I I decided to keep it tame. Well, mm. We're only doing twelve. It could be thirteen. No, it couldn't be thirteen. Because only half of them are going to be available at a time. And you can't oh. make a half with an odd number. All right. Uh, and then... If those are those right. be there... So the dispenser um, bump needs to be up. No. Down. He needs to be looking up. The face needs to be pointing up. The... The dispenser. Oh, the, yes, the dispenser. Start at the bottom. <laughs> and just get you like a, a stack of slime blocks or something. So you got the dispenser down at the bottom of the scaffolding, where it should be. Put a temporary block like a, a slime block or something. Wait. Now I'm confused. 
<laughs> oh, hush. <laughs> oh, hush. The dispenser is dispensing up from the floor. Like that guy there at the very bottom. On each floor. Just below each dispenser, not counting the bottom one, is an observer looking upwards, passing the redstone signal down. Does that help? Okay. Okay. Well, I got uh, you. Yes, Beach Duck. I have, I have coffee. Enhanced coffee. Bonus coffee. Bonus coffee. Uh, right now, I'm trying to go based off of this diagram on my monitor to the left where these glass pillars are supposed to go. Because if that is north, there should be one there. And then one, two, there. Uh. <laughs> one, two, there. Yes. Yes, yes. Maybe. And if I'm looking that way. One, two, there. There? There. Yeah? Sure. Why are there compasses in my box of... Your box of... Um, workstations? Compasses? Mm -hmm. They might have been preset to a particular lodestone. Or are they? I don't know. Are, are they glowy and chanty? Or... No, they're not glowy. Uh, no, they still might be. One, two, bam. There, there, there. Where are there? They're there. Unless Medic wants to switch <laughs> switch tasks. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, just trying to make sure I get these pillars placed right. I'm almost done. Oh, good. Then I can give you some glass and you can help get more of these pillars, because this has to be done on each of the 12 levels. Of course, I say I'm almost done. They'll watch you come through and go, No, it's all wrong. We don't need a statues book in here, do we? Um, We don't need one, no. Are they stackable? No, they're not stackable. It doesn't okay, hurt to have them. them, though. Yes, but they can go on the independent side, not here. Yeah, they can. I mean, honestly, every time I need a statue's box, instead of digging in my ender chest for mine, I grab yours out of your mailbox, since you never clean your mailbox. I have ender chests in my mailbox? Not that I'm aware of, but you have a statue's book in your mailbox. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. Well, it's less trouble than digging mine out of my ender chest. Okay. Anything else in there that you guys pillage on the frequent? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I, I am still going to mock you relentlessly for not cleaning out your mailbox or considering the storage <laughs> unit your mailbox, but, you know. You can keep mocking, but mm -hmm. I'm organizing your storage unit right now, so saying hands that feed us and all. Mm-hmm. So there's one. I'm trying to find the pattern to this. Wait. No, that would be right. Okay. Maybe I did. Wow, I thought you were building these in the little corners in the side, not a giant moor tower in the sky. Oh no, that's a different farm that's going into the little corners in the side. 
I feel like we're in like Pennsylvania with those towers that like they keep putting the little statue of William Penn on. What do you mean? <laughs> what? You know about that? The, the... So apparently there are a bunch of buildings and they keep building them like just high enough that like they have these little itty bitty tiny William Penn, William Tell, I don't know, somebody that's important to the important <laughs> there's statue. Um, and they put them on the top of buildings so that it can technically be the tallest building. Only they've done that so many times now that they're just a bunch of building buildings with these little itty bitty statues. Ah. Uh. My friend that is from Philadelphia was showing me that when uh, we were driving around. Doing our wonderful driving tour of Philly, where she's like, do you really want to like stop and walk um, around these things? And I looked at the crowd and I went, no, nah, I'm good. Is that the direction you have all the observers facing? Mm-hmm. They're upside down. You said the face. The face <laughs> facing face upwards. Facing? Yes. Passing the redstone signal down. Yeah. See? The arrow. It's pointing down. The face is facing upwards. The redstone signal is passing down. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys? He's contemplating murder. <laughs> uh, I called ow. it though. Yep, I called it. I said I am almost done, unless of course you say I'm doing it wrong. Um, oh, did I seriously not? I didn't fly into the right floor. There we go. All right. Uh, so I got the ones in each of the corners. Here, hand them to me. And what? What? And those to um, me. And as you go up, just yeah. tell me when to put them up there. Oh, you have to do it per level. It. it like, you can't sit down here and do it once I bust a hole. It's got to be done at that level. I tried. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? It's, it's all right, though. This, this is going That's a lame. lot quicker. Let's see, I have to do that. And then I got to bust these two holes. And then I got to do it from here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Boop, boop. Building this up from the top. This is a lot easier to work your way down. Ah. Um. Uh. I found the sky. Here, take these. So when you pop up in the hole, there you go. Are you in the... Oh, no. Um, could you hand me one dispenser, please? Mm. What else do we need a lot or of storage of? Oh, nethery things. Thank you. You're welcome. And all these should be fixed now. Awesome. Wait. Wait, you said this was the roof. Yeah, it is the roof. What do you think I'm going to do to trigger all the redstone? I'm going to power that dispenser. The guy below it's going to look and see it's powered and power the next guy. And gotcha. And on down the way. Gotcha. All right, well. <clears throat> those should be fixed now. Yep. So if I want to add something to bulk storage, mm -hmm. what do I do? Uh, you ask me that when I'm not in the middle of complicated placement. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Uh, that makes me worry about it. What, uh, real quick, what mm -hmm. is these <laughs> pillars just connecting the glasses? Uh, no, no. no. It... Don't worry about it. I'll go down and I'll figure it out. Yeah, because the, the, the bottom one's already done. You didn't say you were worried about it when he said it. 
because uh, I didn't hear him say it. <laughs> I, I was busy trying to work with Medic on, on, on this. <laughs> She's talking about when I said it. <laughs> what? Did, I didn't hear you say it either. I, 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 oh. I said, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, this. <laughs> I'm mad. Well, yes, because if he puts the glass in the wrong place, it doesn't break everything. It just doesn't work right. Making face. I know. I'm immune to sad faces. Negative niceness. Yeah, no, I would these... also like to point out that a certain beach duck is not standing up for me. I feel unloved. Oh, don't forget, she's also on a delay. Yeah, these pillars are part of what's going to prevent spiders from spawning on each platform. The other thing we're going to do is come through and put trapdoors on the bottom of each platform. Um, I was going to get very mad about how many wooden trapdoors we were going to have to craft until I remembered that it doesn't matter if it's a wooden trapdoor or not. And we have tons and tons of iron. Literally, tons and tons of iron. So, uh, I made up a whole bunch of iron trapdoors. And we'll be using those. I'm starting to get the hang of this one. As we get the middle of each diagonal. And then we go one, two, three. All right. Yep. One, two. Three. Yep. Three. Yes. Wait. One, two. Counting with a non junior. Sorry. <laughs> Pop. Chiropractors are open during the pandemic, aren't they? I might need one. I think so. I, uh, yeah. Some of the contortions you have to do to work on cellos is not fun. We had a couple of sad cellos today, too. For context, for those uh, new to the channel, I am now starting my second career refurbishing and repairing stringed instruments. Violins, violas, cellos, and basses. Oh my. Oh my. Well, not basses yet. No, not basses yet. Uh, although, uh, if one comes in, because right now, all we have for refurbishment is um, two, 
Are you done with everything above? Yeah. All right, they're all done. They're all done? Yep. Nice. All right, in uh, one of the chests down at the bottom, I've got uh, a whole bunch of iron trap doors. Guess what's okay. next? A chest at this bottom or bottom bottom? Bottom bottom. I'll nap in a second, and then uh, and then we'll get to floors and floors and floors of trap door. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have taken the scaffolding down. The things mm -hmm. you don't think about. Is the hole still there in the roof? Probably not. No, oh, no, it is mostly. It doesn't look too shabby. I like it. No, but the way the way a lot of things have been going, uh, we we've been focusing on uh, <laughs> whatever happens to be handy. So like he wasn't planning on teaching me to work on cellos today, but a couple happened to come in that were in desperate need of some care and repair, and uh, so it's like, all right, come around here real quick. All right, you see this side cello? Where th this is how you remove the top. This is not how you're supposed to remove a fingerboard, but since it came off, this is uh, this is what we're gonna do next. <laughs> Trap doors go on the seal on the roof. Yep. The the roof of each platform, correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. They go on the top of each platform. And I'll be Even right up glasses. there in just a second. Even where the glass is? Uh, yes. Even where the glass is. Even though technically nothing should be able to spawn there, I, I'd just as soon... Did you bring all the trapdoors with you? Yep. Awesome. Oh, look. London weather. Or, um... Yeah, toss me some trapdoors. What you know about London weather? There you go. I was going to say, or Seattle weather. Because I, 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 if I remember right, you can attest to Seattle weather. Uh, sort of. Sort of? Sort of. So, see, what happened was, is the first time I went to Seattle, it was bright and sunny, and I could see the mountain, and everything was beautiful, and I went, what are you guys talking about? This is beautiful. And... They were like, oh, yeah, we've got like two weeks out of the year that it doesn't rain like cats and dogs. And it's these two weeks and today's day one of it. So congrats. <laughs> so that was day one. And that first two weeks I was in Seattle was awesome. And then I came home for two weeks and then we went back for two more weeks. And then there was sadness. There was much, much sadness in the land. There was so much sadness. Like, there were times where I had to, like, stop the car under a bridge because it was raining so hard, I was scared that my car was going to get, like, swiped off the side of the road. Yikes. And into the ocean. So I just figured I'd stop there and... 
there were a couple of times and I was driving around me and a few other people from the company that were in my hotel and I was like, guys, we're just going to chill here because I don't feel safe driving right now. <clears throat> Which Once in hindsight is probably why I was given the car in the first place from the company. <laughs> Once, uh, once these. Well, once the trap doors are placed, do we still need the hole here? Um, yes. Because we're going to have to come back and put water buckets as the last step. Okay. And then we can fill in the, uh, the last little bits. Uh, I mentioned how tedious placing trapdoors is. Uh, not in the last five minutes. It's almost as bad <laughs> as scraping some of the I don't know what these kids did to their violin off of the violin. Like, I don't know if they had a greasy calzone every time they went to play or... You know, if they came from home ec and just covered every pan with lard or what it is, but. We well, you know this one time at bank camp. <laughs> no, we're not. You know going what I there. don't miss? What? I don't miss dealing with that. What? Bank camp? I don't miss dealing with gross stuff that came out of somebody's mouth. <laughs> uh, and it's not just it's not just those instruments that get gross. And some of the stuff you pull out of cases gets a little questionable, too. I'm just saying, I don't miss it. Because, uh... I, I, I pulled some, uh... dried husks of saltwater taffy out of somebody's uh, violin case. Dried husks? That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It's, um... Yeah, it was very disgusting. I, I didn't know saltwater taffy could get that hard. I mean, it wasn't quite Jolly Rancher hard, but it was close. That's Nene levels of yummy. Uh, yeah, it's also surprisingly difficult to get out of the upholstering inside the case. Although, if you go by my co-workers, there isn't much that can't be removed without a little naphtha or uh, denatured alcohol. <laughs> That's how that works. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how that works. Or an exacto knife. I mean, if, if you can't clean it out with actual cleaner, then you just, you know, cut it out with a knife. I am like 90% positive that's not how that's supposed to work. Oh yeah, no, that's exactly how that works. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It is. Ace of trust and belief. We're right mm -hmm. here. Oh, I'm sure. Also been Are warned. we gonna accumulate significantly much more gold than what we have in here? Uh, that that, that is the hope and dream at some point. Although I'll be honest, every time I finally accumulate some gold, I feed it into the Piglin Trading Hall and uh, accumulate more other stuff, more of the things that gold buys. Apparently, I am happy that uh, it looks like Moyang is finally trying to give productive uses for stuff that didn't used to be worth a lot like used to be beyond your first night in minecraft why would you get leather boots and now leather boot or when the 1.17 update releases leather boots will be how you get over powdered snow without falling in um cool. and there, there was something else that they were doing that with 
where they're finally giving it a uh, a new a new use. New lease on life. Yeah. And, and I I do appreciate that they're finally like giving you more reasons to have stuff that you wouldn't have normally kept unless you're doing it for a shtick or whatever. I'm kind of mad that I can't remember what it, what, what it was, though. Oh, uh, the the uh, honeycomb is finally getting used beyond that ugly, ugly block. Uh, that's what you're going to use to wax the uh, copper blocks so they don't corrode. Mm. Time to sleep. Because, as we all hopefully know, copper does corrode. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard that before in my life. Uh, for reference, Reyes and I were watching a guitar builder. Uh, I, I, Since I'm going to say not nice things, I'm not going to name which channel it was. Um, and they were building a really beautiful guitar uh, for their friend's coffee shop. Which is doubly nice because it's guitar building and coffee. Two of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. And uh, the problem is, though, is they go, yeah, and uh, I don't I don't think we have to worry about rusting because copper doesn't rust. And, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me? Copper doesn't what? I mean, it, it doesn't rust, but it does corrode. What was I working on? Yeah, it was an interesting, uh, yeah. I have lost all sense of where I'm at. You're on our server. Uh, what is reality? What is truth? Oh, wait, no, this is not philosophy craft. This is coffee craft. Unless you want to get philosophical about the coffee. Which as black as eternity. Thing. Coffee is black as eternity. You eat flour and call it cake. No, I don't. I have coffee as black as it's intended to be. You eat flour and call it cake. No. It's cake so good you don't need the icing. It's not cake yet, right. it's flour, it's an ingredient. How many people remember that old commercial? Which one? I think cake. you might have just done one that I'm too young to remember. Cake so good you don't need the frosting. Got nothing. I mean, Beach Duck should know. Dude, that was harsh. Hey. I, I just realized how old I was when I saw the uh, the Maiden Czechoslovakia on the inside of the cello and realized just how old that uh, cello is if it says Maiden Czechoslovakia. And then to remember growing up with a USSR mean. on the map and an East and West Germany and all, all sorts of other things. kind of cool, though. No, no. And that Suzuki violin that is one year older than me has been the bane of my week. Because it keeps turning back around. Like, every time I think it's fixed, it breaks between my room and the back. Like, it was perfectly fine when we started putting it together. And then somehow between my bench and the shuttle, a seam popped. So I, I glue that. Does it even like leave or is it just like uh -oh. everyone on server? Yes, everyone is on server. Congratulations, you have stated the obvious. <laughs> I'm also trying to figure out why you're using chat instead of voice.
Is that really the weirdest thing you've ever seen him do? No. Okay. The field behind storage? Oh. <laughs> There's a present back there. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. It's behind the I'm sheep the farm. I'm in the field behind the storage. It, it's behind oh. the sheep farm. Which is technically behind storage, so, you know, he's not wrong for that. <gasps> it's a present! Why are you guys not coming? There's a present. Uh, it's because Christmas. Arcadia's put together, and, and I'll let you open it first. Let me know how that goes. I mean, he was just talking about digging up a bunch of sand for TNT. So, you know. Y you can see why I might be more interested in staying Aww. over here. No, there's stuff for each of us. Oh, cool. I'm out of... Uh, Trapdoors? Trapdoors. It's got um, our faces on it. I've got a stack and a bit left, so we might need to make some more. I think I only mathed out for nine floors, not twelve. Okay. Um, Medic, um, how come your head looks like a girl's? Uh, the authentication server might be down, so you're not seeing his skin. You're seeing the default model. My head has a beard. Not this one? Yes, it has a beard. Oh, when I'm looking at it, it looks like the chick standard player's head. Yeah. Uh, they might be having trouble with the authentication server again. How many more floors do we need to put trapdoors on? I think the one I was on was the last one. Alright, because I should have enough to finish up the floor that I'm on. Thank you, honey. Then we just have, what, one, two more floors? Oh, so close to finishing. Is that the one I, was <coughs> I started? I think so. I saw it started. Okay. It's the floor below the one I was working on, I think. How many more did you make? Only 22, because I th thought I wasn't thinking. No, because you I, thought you weren't thinking? I thought I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I know I wasn't okay. thinking. I just went, eh, here's a thousand. That, that, that ought to be enough to start. And then we'll just grab yeah, some iron blocks and make the rest as we go. 22 didn't even get yeah. one quarter of it done. No. Uh, no, I'm out. Hang on. Let me go uh, grab some iron blocks and... I got it. Oh. I didn't realize you were Go grab your gift and show everyone the present. Are you crafting them or...? I'm crafting them. Okay. Make just enough for you because I'll build some as I go. We're at that point that I don't want an overabundance of uh, trapdoors floating around. I mean, when's the next time we're going to need a bunch of trapdoors? He says carefully. Ooh! Emeralds! Nice. Thank you. Good. I, I, I was going to need that. I still need to finish. I still need to finish up the shady emerald retirement home. Oh, 
and I replaced our missing sheep. I'd still like to know why they're dying. I, I'm 98% sure they're getting struck by lightning. I'm just not sure why the roof isn't enough. Or if we need to extend the roof out, maybe like one or two more blocks. This is looking glorious, though. Glorious or inglorious? Glorious. What else is precious that we don't have much of? Time. Time. <laughs> that, that says something. Do you guys feel like my face is amused right now? <laughs> I'm amused. I'm sure you are. I swear if I put one more trapdoor on the floor by accident. Thank you, Peach Duck. I thought it was a good answer. She just doesn't support me. It's because I'm the middle child. Mm-hmm. It is. It's a conspiracy. There we go. Oh. You say that but you've seen it in action? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Really, really? Yeah. I have seen Let it. Let the family action. games begin. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on before before this this start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong for that. No, no, no. You're in or you're out, medic. <laughs> this is not a voluntary program. All right, I think we're done. All with right. the trap doors. We done with trap doors? I think so. Uh, I'll give it a quick look and I'll get started on the next step. Which is, where did those buckets of water go? There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eleven, twelve. Oop, nope, I found one, one spot there. Will we ever really, like, use the amount of flint that we have? Uh, I don't think we have that much flint. Well, we don't have a little flint. Well, you know you can turn the flint into gravel. not flowing over the edge right just to the edge oh yeah oh um let me let me grab some more brick before i do something silly shark attack oh shark attack Gotcha. Oh, water's flowing. Yep. I'm on it. I hope that it doesn't go down there and wash out my redstone. 
No. If anything, it should get caught in the basin down at the bottom. Okay. Because remember, that basin sticks out further than the platforms do. Okay. No, I, I wouldn't do anything. Would I do something that would endanger redstone? I mean, you have. Have? When have I endangered redstone? Intentionally. You've burnt your own redstone a million times with water. No. I'm pretty sure there's video evidence to prove it. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Because I know how to delete it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> I saw the water going to get I'm like, no! <laughs> Deep breath, man. Deep oh, breath. Oh, oh. What? Okay, so so we're good all the way up to here, huh? I, I haven't... What, on the trapdoors? I haven't checked. I've yeah. been doing the water, and I can't do that if uh, I, we leave the scaffolding up. Oh. I, I, I feel far more confident of our work on the earlier ones than I do the later ones. Okay. All right, yeah. All right, so the rest of them's good. <laughs> all right. Um... I've got the water on that one, so that means this one gets the water bucket. Oh, connection lost. Weird. Oh, I was wondering why you left. Like, it wasn't that bad, was it? No, oh, server error on everything. Yeah. Probably a lot of people at home playing Minecraft. Uh, to include your stream. Yeah, I noticed that too. But as long as I got the recording thing going, it, it'll at least be in the uh, recording afterwards. Did we... No, we didn't. We couldn't have lost uh, internet access because... Um, because we're still talking on Discord. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, you're back. Oh, okay. Am I back now? Am I back in black? Live and in person. All right, that one's got Are pulled. chicken feathers kind of like, um... Did I just hear a wandering trader nearby? Stringing cobwebs to where? I don't know. No, I, I, I thought, didn't see it. I thought I heard one. Mm -mm. And then that guy goes in there. Okay. What other good. things are mob droppy? Mob droppy? Mm -hmm. it is, is is mob droppy a word? It is now. That you'd put with string and cobweb. Feathers? Um, I thought feathers went with the chicken already. We don't have room with the chickens. We don't have room with the chickens? Spider nope, eye. But they're next to the chickens. Spider eyes takes up too much space. Hmm. I can move the leads and the name tag somewhere. What did those go with? That is a good question. Hmm. I'm going to laugh if a uh, wandering trader gets stuck in this farm. All right, so this floor should be flooded after I fix the hole in the floor. We need more name tags. Yeah, name tags is another one that comes in awfully handy. All right, 
Uh, I just need to build the clock on the roof. Oh, so now that I think about it, mm -hmm. you were talking about a stack of gunpowder that possibly got lost? Yeah. More than likely not, because okay. I have I have all of the um, sorting system set up for sugarcane at the moment. Oh, which okay. means that it probably just circled around until it despawned. Okay. Uh, do, we, do 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 we have some spots freed open for gunpowder now? Uh, I can go make some real quick. That, that would be greatly appreciated, because I'd hate to generate a bunch of gunpowder and then have it all, you know, die a horrible death. That would be sad. How much more, by the way, of empty vial are we going to have? Empty vial? Mm-hmm. Oh, that means all the torches that got washed down into storage are, uh... Circling and despawning, probably, aren't they? Yep. Oh. That's kind of sad. Oh, there'll be more soon. Alright, uh... I need... Redstone dust. Redstone. Two sticky pistons. Two comparators. Um, two hoppers, a wrench, half a stack of randomness, random blocks. No, let's flex. Use the iron blocks. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. Let me sleep on it. What is Dragon's Breath Potion for? Uh, for making lingering potions. So it is an ingredient? It is an ingredient in making potions. To the best of my knowledge, it does not actually do anything um, on its own. I wonder. I could do that instead of... Oh, wait, no, I won't? Okay. I wonder if I could do that instead of finishing a complete thought. Huh. Jokes. Yep. I'm going to push it that way. That'll be extended, all right. Oh, I need a couple of composters, too. And apparently to eat something. a little nerve-wracking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I'm trying to open the shulker boxes and they're not opening. That usually means that, uh... Oh. The glitch is to come. Yep. I have a premonition that something's about to go horribly, horribly wrong. Connection lost. You're right. Oh, and am I down again, or am I back to streaming again? Mm, you're streaming on mine. Okay, because I, I, my monitor over here has, there was a network error. Please try again. Hmm. Failed to connect. 
Okay. Yeah, mine did that when the sadness happened too. Oh, there we go. And now I'm back. Oh! Oh, crikey. Where did the skeleton come from? And why is he not dead yet? He came from over there. Who put out the fire in the fire pit? Not I. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. I think we're missing a. Uh, oh, unless it's off of the the roof. But we might be missing a uh, trapdoor somewhere up there then, if a skeleton's spawning. Shoot. Did somebody have a... Oh, I saw an extra flint and steel somewhere. Oh, somebody stuffed it in my mailbox. This one anyway. Ah. Oh. No, I do have a couple of spots that are missing trapdoors. Oh shoot. Where at? couple of different levels. Does the glitching have to do with that? Uh, it could be the glitching, or it could be the glitching of my brain. Me too, Beach Duck. The world, like, glitched out. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was the eggs that we were putting with the chicken feathers. Oh, okay. Because you didn't like them with the leather. Because you didn't think animal byproducts was good enough. Was it that? I thought. I also thought we had too much room reserved for uh, chicken feathers. Well, we do, and I need to condense that, but it was the eggs that needed to go with them. So that gives me some iron, a bunch of brick, and then I'll figure this out. Hooray, we flew, said Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too. Well, it's packed in and pickle is crew, and tickles are puffy and mulligan stew. Higher and higher and higher they flew. But Ickle Me Pickle Me Tickle Me Too. Tickle Me Tickle Me Too. So this one's good. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, that's an interesting conundrum. What is? The uh, redstone that is accidentally powering the trapdoors underneath. So I need to, I need to figure something else out. So close. And I'm also going to need a bunch of slabs anyway. So let me grab 
have some wool, some carpet, uh, and some more brick. Powered by redstone. A... Are we ever going to have like a whole row of comparators and repeaters? I mean, hopefully at some point I would like to actually get ahead of the crafting instead of going at the start of a project. All right, here's what I need. It'd be kind of nice to just... All of the things. Yeah, exactly. It'd be kind of nice to just grab whatever's needed out of there. Except if we only ever grab what's ever needed, then we'll still end up back where we are. Eh. Potato, potato. Mm-mm. That's not a myth. That, that's a thing. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, which I think means I'm going to need one more redstone dust, maybe. Ow. What room do we need for fireworks? Uh, for... Oh, they can go down there. For fireworks or rockets? Mm -hmm. That That was not a um, mm, type answer. That, that was a... Are you talking about fireworks or are you talking about rockets? I'm talking about the things that I don't already have a place for... It in the place. So, fireworks. Okay. Um, hang on. Need that there. That's going to push that there. That's going to push that there. Is one row enough? Who just put umped? Arcadius. Oh. Why did he put oh, I didn't even hear it. He went to. Uh. AFK. Ah. Ah. What time are we ending now? 8.30? Uh, well, that is the question, though, isn't it? I'm so close to finishing this. I would really like to finish I it like we say that every week. Well, it's true every week. Could somebody sleep, please? Got it. Oh, somebody write that down. Oh, shush. Wait. Okay, that's fixed. And... I need to grab... Two composters. I forgot that the last time, and I think I have some in my redstone box. Oh, that's Bado. That sounded like Bado. Yeah, that's that's a Bado. Where, where's all that water flowing from? What's not right here? Something's not right up here. Ah! I gotta wait for the next cycle. Okay. You guys are gonna hate the next time you come into storage. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what's wrong.
I'm almost a little bit sorry. Alright, I think that's the one that was missing too. Alright. Uh, oh, that's right. I needed composters before I get distracted by redstone problems and uh you got 99 problems and redstone is definitely one yeah and where did I put that flint and steel I just had because I know I didn't start the fire there's the flint and steel uh composters composters or even composters Do we have some in storage? Or are they in the, uh... No, we do. Or are they in the, uh, the one of these chests down here from when I last worked on this? I mean, there are some in storage. Nope. 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 Should be enough. That's a nope. The happy. Oh. Um. Unloading some stuff, are we? What? Wow. He's fixing our sand problem. Nice. Alright. Uh. Have you. Oh! Y you know that you shouldn't be leaving empty spots while that's running, right? But that's running with just sand. Yes, I know, but the hoppers don't always catch them all. So there might be sand running into oh. various random places. Well, we'll find it. Or we won't. And we'll leave that as an exercise to whoever finds the world later. Fair. Fly! Yeah, you guys, for the record, are not going to be able to find anything for, like, a hot minute. Uh, I'm going to say a little bit more than a hot minute, but we can go with that, too. Hey, Medic, you, you are planning mm -hmm. on encasing this entire thing inside a building, correct? Correct. Okay, good. Then that means we don't have to build a ridiculously large roof to get the lighting correct. Because it will all be enclosed. Uh, you are going to leave access to, like, an access hatch somewhere to get into this, right? Uh, yep. Okay, good. Is it wrong of me to want to put the leads in the leather box? I mean... We, we we seem to be getting most of both from the same place donated by your friendly wandering trader. Okay. That's all that. Hey, did anyone find him? Uh were nobody's entirely sure that he was there? It didn't show up that one spawn near anybody. Yeah. It lies. I mean, I thought I heard one. That fibber. Kind of wish you could combine carpet back into wool blocks. Kind of like snow layers into snow blocks. Uh, sugar makes paper, right? Sugar cane makes paper. Sugar <laughs> makes sweetener. 
Very serious. What does sugar make? Uh, sugar makes potions and pies and cake. Sugar cane makes paper. Well, someone needs to use the sugar because we have a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm to brew some potions. I'm getting there. One project at a time. Or so I keep telling myself. Don't ask how successful I am in sticking to one project at a time. Where do scoots go? They make me sad. Why do scoots make you sad? Because of how they're treated. They're treated just fine. The, the turtles who provided them, however, might be another question. Oh, come on. So far, so good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Jubba. Eating like it's his first meal in years. It's something else. He might have been fed slightly more recently than years. I mean, not that you could tell. Where did that skeleton come from? I mean... This isn't a D and D match that Arcadius is jamming. It didn't just, you know, appear because why not? Speaking of, we should play again. Yes, we should definitely play again. I heard somebody might even be making a trip at some point. Would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Intent hint, nudge, nudge. Oh no. Oh no. Did I make too many of them? I did make too many of them. Too many of what? Gunpowder. I gotta go fix that. Dang it. Too many gunpowder? Or too many gunpowder storage silos? Too many gunpowder storage silos. What, what, what is this too many of which you speak? Well, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, out of 11 storage units the 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 entire wall length uh seven of them are gunpowder oh never mind that I is mean, too many too many of them yeah yeah uh hey rest can can i bother yeah. you to sleep again like twice in the same night you've asked a lot no, I think asking a lot was when I asked you to make a random wall. That was not acceptable. I, I think this is far easier than when I asked you that question. That was not cool. I don't know. The results are pretty cool. That was not okay. Okay, not okay. You're not funny. Yeah, so I've been told.
so far so good. I think it was just that one block that I missed and that's where the random skeleton came from I just slabbed up the roof so there shouldn't be anything there I covered all the redstone which What's seems to be What's the mathematical odds on you missing one singular block and that being where home skillet spawns? Uh, pretty good since we've had two sets of eyes on this project as it's been being built Oh, ah. nope, here's a second one Okay, so those are the two singular blocks. Two singular blocks? I don't think that's how singular works. I think that is a singularly unique way of uh, thinking about it. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. That happened. <laughs> that, that happened. I guess it's a good thing I removed the fire, huh? Let's light this up, and once Medic finishes the building that goes outside it, it should be a fully functioning farm. Because the, the building's what's going to keep the light level low enough that the critters will spawn. Well, I mean, if you AFK, it'll work throughout the night, too, so there's that part, too. before somebody accuses me of leaving Fulker Monsters. Internet accuses you of that. Oh, yeah, they do. You're on trial by internet. Oh. The worst kind of trial known to man. Yeah, well. And look at that. It's a project completed in a single stream. Congrats. Well, awesome. my first completed. Now it just needs a building to uh, make it dark as night. Uh, where did all those uh, now empty shulker boxes go? That's not what I In want. the box next to me, why? Because uh, I was going to use them to move all the leftover junk material into the storage sorting system. Oh, yeah, they're next to me. Uh, oh, wait, do you have all the uh, empty stuff filled in yet? No. Oh, okay, then let me uh, not put those in there yet. Some random glass might be making its way through the system. And it'll probably end up in one of those empty spots you left.
cleaning up. I'd still like to know where the seven random diamond ore came from. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's from somebody randomly having it in their inventory. I just... Who, who, who ends random up Random diamond ore? Yeah. Oh, I had that in my inventory. The seven random diamond ore? Yeah. Remember oh. I was mining downstairs and then you asked me to come help. Oh. Okay. Okay. I missed that you asked that as a question. Yeah, I, I don't know why I ask those questions anymore, but yeah. Do I hear someone doing whippets in the kitchen? No, you hear somebody trying to very carefully uh, start the sink. Oh. Except the the that faucet is so freaking loud. Or am I the only one that hears that or thinks of it as loud? No, just me. I, mean, I don't hear it as loud. I mean, you just heard it from across the way, so... No, well, I guess that's the point then. I've never noticed that it was loud. Alright. Alright, what else needed to be added to storage? Uh, the fire charges. I think some of the new nether stuff, but I don't remember what. That might be one for Saturday, or, well, maybe not this Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to leave these shulker boxes here to run through storage when you're ready for that, when you're ready for stuff to run through storage. Okay. You know, when there's not a bunch of empty spaces. Well, okay. You just said I needed to move stuff around, so no, I, around. I, I, I I'm not complaining, I'm just stating a fact. Alright, we have everything set up now to where we have one, two, three, four, five, five towers for gunpowder and six for sugar cane. Nice. Um, and the sugar cane is... Uh, Doing pretty good. All right, so just a reminder for those those few remaining brave souls who stuck with me through the entire build. This creeper farm is mostly based off of the one that Shulkercraft put together in that video URL. And I'll make sure that I include a link in the archive that'll go up on YouTube later. Uh, I'll, I'll say mostly inspired because I did make a couple of changes. Uh, I used a different clock to trigger it and I did the interleaving layers so that way there's always a spawning platform available for creepers to spawn. And I think that means that we'll get a slightly better yield than if we did it the way they did it where it's always water and then empty and then water and then empty. Um, and uh, I, I increased the number of platforms a little bit. I still need to move the AFK spot from its old place to be uh, set up so that way the bottom of the AFK platform is 
128 blocks away from the bottom of the killing area. But that's going to require mathing out some coordinates, and I, I'm not at a mathing point right now. I am so not at a mathing point. Um, there's got to be a potion of slow fall in here somewhere, right? Because we got random potions. Uh, weakness, fire resistance. Do you need slow fall? Invisibility, water breathing. More random potions. Regen. Why, do you have a potion of slow fall handy? Because I thought I had uh, some I somewhere. It's in one of these somewhere. Oh, yeah. It, from clearing out my mailbox. Oh. I tried to clear out my mailbox. Hmm? And I did that by moving it into a random box and sticking it in the corner of my <laughs> ender chest. <laughs> <laughs> this is the equivalent of sticking all the junk in a uh, 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 plastic bin and stuffing it under the bed, right? Uh, Yeah. Is that about the size of it? That's about the size of it. Alright. So uh, we can slow fall our way down by this. So I've got an Etho Hopper Clock with half a stack of items in the clock. That is the that is pretty much what we used the last go-round. Uh, or at least that's the end result of our last go-round. Because we tried a different clock before where the water would be extended just long enough to push stuff off and it would be retracted longer to increase the spawning time. The problem is, is every time you left the area, uh, if it was in a certain point in the clock, it would basically break it and put it in reverse where the water was out more than it was not. Uh, so having a, a standard clock like that made life a whole lot easier. It decreased the yield of the farm a little bit, but um, it meant that it didn't break every time we left the area. So that's going to count off after 32 blocks tick through the hopper. It's going to alternate which one, which platform has water and uh, which platform does not. So there should, in theory, always be something spawning on here and something else getting pushed off into the basin below. And then uh, once they get down to the basin there... Oh, uh, I should also add, those trapdoors are because, if you didn't know, creepers are just a fraction of a block shorter than everybody else. So when the spawning algorithm goes to look and see what can spawn, it checks the height and it goes, nope, only creepers and spiders. And spiders need a 3x3 three three block available. And these pillars here are spaced out enough so that way you can't get a proper 3x3 three three for the spiders to spawn. So in theory, the only thing that should be spawning in here is creepers which puts it a step up from the last farm because the last farm to do that, we had to uh, kill a lot of the open space. Um, that was not fun. Not fun at all. That's, uh, that's a lot of towers. That's a lot of platforms. So the next thing to do is math out 128 blocks from up from those flaming soul sand. <laughs> um, by the by, the soul sand is not a full block high, so the hopper can pull items from above it, which means that they won't... Uh, when the creeper dies, it'll get sucked up before it gets burned. And the... The soul fire, the blue fire, should kill them faster than any of the other methods we used before. And then it'll come down into, uh, into storage. 
These guys will dispense it down. I got the hoppers directed so that way at least half of the uh, these guys here are pointed to one dispenser. The other half are going to the other. That should keep this part from backing up. Although, I don't think that was ever going to be a real problem. But, nah. It's fun anyway. And there is our working creeper farm. Well, almost working. The one thing that's missing is either a giant roof on the top that is far enough, uh, uh, basically it end up being a 35 by 35 diamond to, to cause enough shade to fall on all the platforms such that uh, it would be dark enough for, for mobs to spawn in there. But since Medic is going to build a building around this, making it dark enough anyway, uh, I didn't... I didn't think we needed to waste resources on the roof because we weren't going to need it. And I still feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what. That is kind of bothering me. If someone makes a stone break anything, they're going to get stabbed. Why? We have so much stone brick in here. Uh, yeah, and we got more in those boxes that are, uh, waiting to be loaded in don't, no. don't worry I'm going to be using quite a bit of it is that what you're using for uh, some of the internal part of the build oh, come on. that's what I'm using to encase the uh, the creeper farm in ah. and then the external the, the pretty part's going to be in concrete oh are you uh, should we just go ahead and build a wall up from that glass up to the top? I mean, that, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Uh, we've been streaming long enough that I'll probably call the stream in a second, but uh, I might work on that while the video is uploading. Internet connection willing. The internet connection doesn't always play nicely while stuff is loading up, and it's already a little shaky. Although that could just be the storage system running. I I love yeah, this. I, the... I love this design. Uh, I've seen a couple other variants that I thought about trying for uh, for other projects, but I know. Oh, you like the dog under the bed? His name is Java. He's like the one at IRL. He's like that Java IRL, who also likes to sleep under the bed. He's even got his little toy under there. <laughs> yeah, all this is... Yeah. Java got his name because he's fat and lazy. <laughs> his stomach was super distended when we got him because he had worms, and he's like, a, like an eight-week-old puppy. And the first time we threw a ball for him, he, like, had to sit because he was so fat. He had to sit with his legs, like, out to the side, kind of like Jabba the Hutt's, like, snail tail is. Yeah. And we threw a ball, and he just looked at it and then looked at us like, do you want a cookie for that? Like, what? <laughs> what? And then we named him Jabba. Yeah, I don't think the name tag shows up because the bed's right above him, but that is his favorite place. Uh, if you do not find Jubba under their bed, you'll find him under my bed. Or directly underfoot if you're anywhere in the general vicinity of a kitchen. Or something kitchen-like. Or something where food from a kitchen uh, arrived. Or if you look like you might pet him. Why are you standing in front of me, Medic? He's trying to get your attention. Oh. Oh. Where's all this stone that you said we have? Uh, uh over here. No, the, the so, bricks. No, not the actual bricks. The things you make from it are over here. No, oh, because there's a bunch of stone brick right no, here no, no, in no. this last box. No, I already took all that. Okay. I want to need more, so I'm going to have to make more. It's okay. I, I don't mind making it. I just didn't want to make it if we didn't, ha or if we already oh. had it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, the actual bricks themselves, we don't have extra of. It's the things you make from the brick. Oh, it's the stairs and stuff. Um, we do yeah. have we we do have the extra crafting recipes to turn slabs back into blocks and to turn stairs into blocks. 
Oh, good. Let's do that. Hold on. You, you lose you lose stone by turning the stairs back into blocks. We'll be okay. Trust me. I mean, I mean, I don't know. We uh, I think most of those are full. Oh, wrong, wrong column. There we go. Two, three, four. Yeah, see, only four of the five that we thought was going to be massive overflow storage. Um, I think. Here, guys, go. <laughs> I didn't need it. Medic did. Why are you throwing it at my foot? Medic, medic, you, medic, come back. What? There's little bubbly things. <laughs> I don't have room in my inventory. Fix that. Oh. Actually, lies. Yes, again. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! My, oh, there you go. Oh yeah, I. Do we need more than just the one stone cutter over by the coffee craft painting? That is a custom texture pack that I have up on uh, GitHub too. Why I have it on GitHub, I'm not entirely sure, but it's there. Yeah, this is. Oh yeah, we're we're coming up on the close of the year because we. We launched the Season 1 server January 1, 2020. Mm -hmm. Also, yes, Beast Lord, that was definitely, he is a food-motivated puppy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. We trained him with carrots, because you can give endless amounts of those and don't have to worry about them gaining weight. Yeah, well. Well, near endless. Yeah, I was getting ready to say. There may have been a moment where he was pooing Arch. Yeah, this is the uh, spawn island. It did not look like this except for the shipwreck when we started. Um, I think I ended up with the first death of the server getting assaulted by a spider the day, the minute we logged on. Because it was nighttime when we logged in. Rayest and Arcadius and Medic, I think, all drained out the temple. I built the uh, Guardian Farm on the remains of said temple. Rayest turned it into a ghost, a ghost temple. Lots of glass went into this project. Lots of glass. Did I mention lots of glass? Lots of glass. But that worked out pretty well. down down the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald here actually I don't think we gave the shipwreck a name should we call it the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald or is there some <laughs> other uh, famous shipwreck we ought to call it yeah, Optifine doesn't play nice with waterlog upside down waterlogged uh, stairs though or I don't know if it's Optifine or the uh, the fancy graphics. One of those doesn't like that. But uh, the aquarium with the fish that don't freaking move. They just kind of cluster up in there. Like they're having a party in the one spot. Oh wait, no, there's like one moving back there. But uh... Our lovely little guardian farm. Which has produced a great many sea lanterns. And it is set up to be either an AFK or a kill. Whichever way you want to go about it. Um, I gotta do something about the overflow though. Uh, cause I... The way I routed it, I thought I wanted all the extra prismarine shards to go into the overflow. Until I actually saw what that was doing to the overflow. So, uh, at some point when I am, when I both have the time and energy, I'm going to have to come back through here and redirect it. Because these guys go up through there, they hit that first column unless it's full, the second column unless it's full, 
and instead of coming down back into the overflow, which is what I thought I wanted, it's not what I wanted, um, I need to find a way to route them back over to the trash over here. That, uh, that might be a project for another day, though. But that was a fun project. That's the first time I did that kind of storage tower. And the first time I actually built... Because the, the, the killing section here is not based on anybody else's design. It, it's something I actually worked out myself. I'm sort of proud about that. So you can come in here and... You did a thing. Switch it to kill. It's not a one-hit kill because the honey blocks... But, uh, whichever way you want to go about it. We only save some of the raw cod. The, the original goal, and still future goal, is to get a couple of fishermen down here so we can trade the, uh, raw, the raw cod for, uh, for emeralds and stuff. But uh, I don't think any of us has actually bothered to come down and uh, bring a couple of villagers over here. Actually, since we built it, uh, has anybody da been down this way except for the occasional... Uh... Oh, we have got some stuff paid, left over I've down here. I've been there several times. Okay. I haven't been down there too much. Because I, I know, I know there was a couple of times that I needed uh, sea lanterns, so I spent a little time down here for some sea lanterns. That monstrosity is the tree farm that I will get back to, I promise. The tree farm part works, the blast chamber does not, and I'm having a little trouble figuring out exactly what is wrong with that one. And uh, at some point we'll have to get our smelter system working. The iron farm, which I think was the first major build? Or the trading hall, one of those two. And I still got to get the roof on the church. That's a project the that I keep... The trading hall preceded the iron farm, I think. Okay. I couldn't remember. Feels like that was a long, yeah. longer ago. It does than I feel think like really that was. was a long while ago. Oh, uh, hang on. let me uh, let, let me let me cut the background music for a second. Uh, I I recorded I I built my first data pack, uh, which is up on Planet Minecraft and GitHub. How you do? It's me. I recorded my own villager voices. <laughs> nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I, I don't know how well the how audible they are on stream. Uh, music and sounds, friendly creatures. Only when you don't want them to be audible. Well, yeah. I didn't realize that Minecraft would automatically vary the pitch in their voice, though. So I recorded the I recorded the sound clips and then used a pitch shift to to drop it down a little bit, so I sounded kind of like you know, discount fat Albert. Um, and then this did some more variety in the in the pitch variation. And uh, some people find it. Very amusing that the little kids have a very high-pitched version of my voice. When there's baby villagers around. I just want to go ahead and take it to 11 and, like, have some real fun with it. <laughs> And rest, work All right, done. I can't remember what else was disproportionate. Rast worked on the building for the storage system. I did the redstone. 
We got uh, more storage down this way. For all our weapons and armor and stuff. I haven't finished labeling all the boxes yet. And then back this way is the concrete maker that Reyes put together. The sheep farm that Medic and I, I did built. did redstone. Yeah. Reyes did not do redstone on air, though, because I try to keep uh, the language family friendly. It is glorious, though. And I keep I keep intending to do a tutorial on the sheep farm, but I never oh without falling into the ditch, uh, but I, I never quite get around to finishing that. That is uh, that is on the agenda. Hopefully, before the end of twenty twenty, maybe. Because medic and I there's not much left before the end yeah, of twenty twenty. I'm just don't, saying. Don't remind me. Don't remind me. Uh, for, first we got to survive. Oh, and I got to figure out what I'm doing Friday too. Because uh, I'm not live streaming on Friday. Fr Friday is a certain gift giving holiday. I I think. I think I might um, do a stream tomorrow, and then save the editing for the weekend, and then just uh, edit it up so that way I'll have a regular run of games revisited, recorded, and uh, on its way. That would work. Which might work. Oh, those are the animals that Reyes rescued. She contends that she's going to build a zoo for them. They've sat out here neglected for a while. We're not going to talk about neglected things or bad things that people do on this server. And I might just kill this parrot if it makes another creeper noise when I walk by. They emit creeper noises? They imitate the noise of mobs near them. So they will occasionally sound like spiders or creepers or witches or whatever happened to have been nearby. Hmm. Mm hmm Didn't know that was a thing. That is most definitely a thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, Arcadius gathered them. And I think uh, maybe maybe New Year's Eve we ought to do a grand stream and server tour. That could be fun. <laughs> um, just so you know, I will not be there. Medic, your work schedule is killing me, Smalls. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it was Christmas that you wouldn't be able to make it, so you would be able to make uh, New Year's. No, I work Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. Ah. Oh. What if we record it on another day and just pretend? <laughs> <laughs> that that might make Is the, that how that works? That that might make the, the that might make the chat awkward. We'll just tell everybody to pretend. <laughs> Look, the the last time I did a pre recorded video session, somebody <clears throat> uh kept trying to chat at me even though <laughs> Even though it said pre-recorded. Was that me? That was you. I, I wasn't going to say it was you, but since you volunteered it. Uh, yeah, because I remember... I, I thought I remembered something like that. Because I, I remember texting going, or texting Arcadius going, why is he not answering me? That's adorable. <laughs> it's like, like legit adorable. It's like I'm sitting here talking to him and he keeps ignoring me. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Aww. That's like adorable and sad. Yeah. Uh, and right, also, the cat keeps. It's all right. I just grabbed me a bag of carrots and went and <laughs> set up underneath my bed. <laughs> <laughs> and if that zombie pigment farm isn't the best thing we built, this is a close second. Because uh, we, we got that guy up there, which produces gobs of XP quick. We just need to make it quieter. Gold nuggets. Uh, and then these guys, who Medic and Arcadius uh, went and gathered for me, uh, just kind of 
load that up with some gold ingots and uh, let them go at it. And they will randomly drop any of those. Well, not the actual buckets. That's for overflow and other miscellaneous stuff. Like uh, all the fire potions and... Or, fire, sorry, fire resistance potions and enchanted boots and enchanted books. And all that good fun stuff. Alright, so let me step away from the noisy pigs and call this stream to a close. Because, uh... I am done. Although the project is finished. So, let me say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Um, normally we do this every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And uh, yeah, next week should still be a go. Uh, Coffee Craft shouldn't be interrupted by any of the holidays. Uh I also do a stream on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, Games Revisited. I'm currently playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And it is glorious and wonderful, and those episodes are posted up on the YouTube channel. I don't know if I'm going to do this Friday's stream or the following Friday's stream. I might move it to either Wednesday or Saturday. Uh, it just depends on schedule and what I can fit where. So keep an eye out on that. If you follow along in Twitch, you'll get notified when I go live, and you'll see uh, when I do finally figure out where to fit those streams. But either way, I will definitely see you next week at uh, 6.30 on Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Tuesday. And um, this uh, live stream archive will get uploaded to YouTube along with the previous live stream archives and the games revisited episodes and hopefully some more stuff coming up soon uh thank you beast lord you're amazing uh hopefully i'm gonna try to get some more stuff together soon too like i i want to start posting some guitar repair videos some guitar building videos uh and turn the non-junior youtube channel into a little bit more of a variety channel uh and include more stuff than what it had what it has right now uh rest and i do plan on doing a redstone tutorial series we will we'll we'll go as far as we can manage to uh figure stuff out uh starting with the basics and building from there and not sure when we're gonna get that started but uh if you subscribe to the youtube channel you'll get notified when stuff gets posted and you'll see it up on the subscriptions feed, and uh, you'll know when it does. And last but not least, if, you, if you're if you enjoying what you see, uh, I, I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. And turns out servers, servers aren't free, sadly. So if you're enjoying us and you would like to support the show, then you can go to live.anonjunior.com, tip or donate, however you want to think about that. I'm not going to set a dollar amount. I don't want to... I leave that up to you. It's a value for value proposition. If you're getting value out of the show, then consider giving a little value back. And uh, even if it's just enough for a little bit more coffee or, you know, another another month's server, it is uh, greatly appreciated. And with all that, thank you. Have fun. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>